What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. Everybody, I'm excited. Today we have a beautiful 2015 BMW M5 in for a spa day with Papa Smurf. Uh, this is a good buddy of mine's car. He bought it recently and uh, reached out to me and wanted me to take care of it for him, bring some life back into it. So we talked and uh, there's a car show coming up and he wanted me to finish it before that car show. Um, so we had talked before about maybe doing a two step on it, but um, in the time frame I have to work with it, um, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for a one step. I'm not going for perfection on this thing, uh, but it needs love. It really does need love. It's a clean car, but the paint has a lot of swirls, scratches, and it kind of looks like somebody took a rotary to the side of the car with a dry pad. That's what it looks like, a dry wool pad. Um, once the sun hits it, it just shows all this stuff. As you guys will see um, in the, the pre-inspection uh, that's coming to follow this. Uh, but it's a beautiful car. It is a rare car from what he's been telling me about it. They didn't make many in a six-speed manual. Um, and this is one that is built in Germany. Um, and there was very few that were actually built in Germany. So he, he wants me to take care of it for him. It's a beautiful, it's black, but... It's got this, it's kind of like, it's hard to explain, you'll see. Um, it's got this flake to it, this beautiful paint. Um, so I really, I'm excited to bring it back. I'm not shooting for perfection at all. I really just want to restore some, some depth, bring out some clarity, some nice shining gloss. And my goal is to take off the least amount of clear coat as possible. So I'll go through my, uh, my process. And then the final thoughts, um, you, we will talk about everything and all the products that I used um, and kind of just go a, a brief overview of, of the process and stuff like that. So um, let's check out this beautiful 2015 BMW M5 six speed. This thing's twin turbo, it's awesome. I've actually did a little bit of work on it. We did down pipes, intake, stage two tune, all this stuff on it and it's, uh, it's gnarly and uh, I'm excited to transform it. So let's get into it. everybody so we've got the m5 in the garage after a nice good foam bath went ahead and got it washed up strip strip washed it um, there really wasn't much protection on this thing but what i like to do is i like to mix up a little bit of um, like apc in my shampoo which in this case was my kraken from phoenix eod back there in the back the kraken by itself is an alkaline cleaner. So I add a few ounces of that into my foam can and then I go ahead and foam it down, go around with my detail brush, hit all the jams and the corners and everything like that. So got this thing all cleaned up, got the wheels all dialed in. Now there, there was a little bit of contamination on the hood. There was a little bit of contamination on the roof, uh, the, the trunk lid and the top of the bumper as well as kind of like right here on the top portions of the doors. Nothing crazy. I did run my iron remover across this thing and really didn't really get much out of it as far as iron remover, but you could see the paint here. It's not terrible. There you go. It, eh, eh. It's yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. It's got some oxidation and it's got all these weird like, uh, I wonder if I can get those on camera. It's got like these weird like blemishes in the paint. You can kind of see it there. A little bit here. 
right there. So yeah, um, we are gonna polish this thing up. I wasn't gonna make a video on this thing, but this thing is too sexy to not make a video on this thing. And you can kind of see the gloss it, want, it wants to have. So we're gonna get this thing glossed up. Now, mind you guys, I am not going for perfection. I'm not going crazy on this thing. I am one step polishing this thing. I need to get it done today's Thursday. Right now it's Thursday after work. And I need to get it done by Sunday because there's a car show that he wants to take this to, which I'll be also going to with my GSX. But yeah, we're gonna get this thing polished up. Um, today I'm gonna be playing around with, with some new stuff to me. The Koshemi products. I've got the micro cut here and I've got the fine cut here. Now I have used the F6 or the P601, which is the one step cut and finish, which is this one right here. And I love this stuff. If I was gonna do an all in one on this thing, that would probably be the one that I'm using. But you know, I like to switch it up and play around with stuff that I haven't played around with before. So we're gonna give this a shot. I've got it teamed up with my yellow, my yellow Rupes pad. Now I'm using my Max Shine M21 Pro here, 21 millimeter throw with my six inch back plate. Something I don't normally do, but this big old flat hood, the doors. Got big old flat doors, so whenever I can utilize my six inch, I, I do it just to cover more area and I'm on a little time crunch, so. And this thing's got some nasty, nasty haze um, in the door. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. Just by kind of rocking back and forth. Oh, terrible. So, I'm hoping a one step will take care of it. Nothing really too deep, too crazy in this thing. So I'm gonna get set up and my first test is going to be, we'll just, we'll, we'll test out the micro cut. We'll see what that'll give me on the uh, yellow pad. If not, then I'll bump up to this, see if the F601 can give me what I want. Now this one is a, sorry, my camera's, this is a, six on the cut and a seven on the gloss and this one is a three on the cut but a nine on the gloss so we'll see what it can give me i'll get the, the tripod set up over here we'll do the hood over here and do a spot and see what we can get all right folks so i'm going to do a little test section here on this side with my yellow rupes pad and my m21 i'll probably stick around speed three and a half Four, somewhere around there. I'm gonna start with my micro cut. Just gonna see what this will give me. I'll bring you guys in, show you, and then we'll uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Um, you know, I always talk about the clear. We'll talk to you, so we'll see what this will give me. If I'm not liking what it's doing, uh, most German, uh, the last couple BMWs I've did, the clear was on the harder uh, the harder side. So I don't want to just assume that and jump in with a Eurofiber and whatnot. Uh, like I said, my goal here is to do a one step. I'm not doing a two step. So um, whatever I can, I can get without having to do a two step, I will be happy. So I'm going to start here with my micro cut. Ooh, that's a little much, but that's all right. This is a fresh pad. So got my cord over my shoulder. I'm going to dab this out a little bit. Kicked it up to around speed four, but uh, we'll see what this can give us. Like I said, I'm not going for perfection, but I do want to. I do want to make it look good.
That actually looks really good. Let me get you guys off here. That actually looks really good. Get you guys off of here. Sorry, I'm going to put my mic the opposite way so you guys can hear me. All right, so. Check this out, guys. Still a few deep stragglers. Not too worried about it. Then when we get down here, check that out. Looks really good. Brought out some really nice clarity. That looks really good. You can see in the lights. I might try. I think I'm going to bump up to the fine cut. Even though the the gloss isn't as 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 much, I might try the fine cut over here on this side and just see what it'll get me. You know, I'll bring you guys in and show you afterwards. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work on this thing. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I will let you guys know what I end up using. But that did extremely well for just a micro cut. So we'll see. I will keep you guys updated. I'll be back with an update. All right, folks. So just a little update. Um, I went ahead and I did this side with the F601 fine cut. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely gave me a little more cut, which is what I was looking for. I mean, versus down here. Really nice clarity. Versus over here. few stragglers left behind here to the eye I really can't see a difference in gloss so honestly I think I'm gonna just stick with the p601 fine cut my yellow pad and uh, yeah probably just go from there I'll probably blow this out and just use both pads but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna stick with the p601 I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish up this hood and then I'll come back and show you guys what the hood looks like and then yeah We'll move on. All right, everybody. One more quick update. Um, this combination is working great. I wanted to show you guys. Um, hopefully this. Ooh, my knees. Hopefully. Yep. You can definitely see this on camera. It's like this down the whole door. I mean, the whole side of the car. But check this out. I'll check out this fender. Oh, yeah. It looks incredible. So, bringing out some nice depth, some insane gloss, some clarity. I mean, check this thing out. It's like black chrome. I got the whole hood done. I just finished up this fender. I got this fender done over here. I like to work in clips. I like to get the front clip done. Hood, fenders, front bumper. And then I move to the roof. 
and then kind of work my way down to the doors and stuff. Everybody's got their process, but yeah, same thing over here with this door. Let's see how terrible that is. Almost like my camera work. But yes, move over here. Beautiful clarity, no haze, no swirls. A few minor, you know, leftovers, scratches, and, and whatnot. The deeper ones, but I'm not going to chase after that. I don't want to mow down as clear. This thing is looking so good. I can't wait. Really, really some nice clarity we're bringing back. That beautiful metallic. It's almost like a blue-green flake coming through it's beautiful so i'm gonna get back to work and i'll update you all right everybody one more little update so what i've been doing is uh i have been shout out big tim with shine your light detailing because he's always doing this stuff but what i started doing was putting a little bit of the m302 micro cut on the pad with the F601, and let me tell you, because um, the wipe off on the M302 is a little bit easier than the F601, just a little bit, but combined them, and the wipe off is even easier. But check this thing out. Got the whole front clip done, whole roof is done. I just got this door done, and I wanted to kind of give you guys a little before and after. My knees are just like begging me to stop doing that. All right, so you can see all, man, that is just terrible. Now let's check this door out. Oh, boy. Oh, would you just look at it? Just look at that flake. Oh, man. So from this over here to this over here. It looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, that flake is just... It's beautiful. This is a beautiful color. I mean, check out that hood. It's like black chrome. But yeah, shout out Tim. Shine your light detailing. Took a little page out of his book. Man, we got the whole front, the front clip is done looking incredible so yeah just just a quick update gonna get back to work all right everybody we are done with this bmw well at least a polishing portion Ooh, i'm whooped it is the next day so it's now thursday so is that no it's friday oh my lord don't even know my days anymore guys it is friday Yesterday, I got pretty much the three quarters of the car done. Only thing I had left to do was these back quarter panels, the deck lid and the bumper and whatnot. Uh, but this thing looks great. It looks it looks absolutely fantastic. From what it looked like before, a whole bunch of nasty stuff, swirls, scratches, a whole bunch of haze. We really brought some clarity back. And this trunk lid was hammered too check out the flake in this thing it's got like blue green it's like magenta green a flake in this thing and it looks beautiful i got home i pulled it outside in the sun across the street and this thing just looks incredible i mean is it perfect no way but we really brought some nice clarity back to it some just absolutely insane level gloss um so when I got here, it was all dusty from sitting overnight and all day today. Quick tip. Got my Hydra rinseless wash here and my little pump sprayer. Um, I also have my bucket full of rinseless wash here. I mixed up some solution. Now, usually what I'll do, no matter what, is rinseless wash the panel I'm about to polish. My garage, get like it's dusty. It, there's nothing covering the top. It's like wood. So any kind of breeze, it kind of blows stuff around. So I get it's, it's dusty. So keep your rinseless wash, clean your fenders and whatnot. 
clean the section you're gonna polish before you polish just to be sure now me what I had to do was when I finished the back I still had to panel prep the whole car but it was so dusty I was not comfortable so I just rinseless washed the whole car dried it off and then went around with my Gion prep paint prep this thing it looks absolutely incredible it's ready for protection if you guys were curious about what i'm going to put on it stay tuned for the final thoughts we'll talk about what i'm going to put on it but i'm going to make a video on it as well so i don't want to spoil it uh, but this thing looks incredible now most of the gloss is going to come from the polish so i doubt what i put on is going to make that much of a difference but you know when it's done it's getting pulled out for some nice after shots so let me know what you guys think in the comments we'll talk about my process and whatnot in the final thoughts so without further ado let's see what this looks like in its final form All right, everybody, we are in a quick final thoughts segment here on this beautiful BMW M5. Man, this thing looks incredible. I mean, I cannot be happier with how this thing looks. The gloss, the depth, the clarity. I mean, this thing, is it perfect? No, but man, does it look good. And he was absolutely blown away. I mean, blown away. For him to tell me that this didn't, this doesn't look like the same car that he, that he brought to me, um, really hits home with me and that is what I live for that is that that is that reaction that I go for really makes it worth it he was just baffled he was blown away he was just dude this thing looks incredible um so the final thoughts segment I know a lot of you may not make it here to my final thoughts but um you know I like to just overview and go through the process and steps and products and my thoughts on everything uh that way maybe you guys can <laughs> gain something from that um so the m5 I had uh Obviously, it took a couple days to do it, so um, there was a few issues I ran into, and I want to share the, the problem solution for me was um, I've had it over a couple days, and it's sitting in my garage. It gets dusty, um, so the main thing that I kept handy was my, my rinseless wash, and my little HDX um, pump foamer, or pump sprayer. It's not a foamer. It's just a pump sprayer. Um, from Home Depot, they're like eight bucks, seven or eight bucks. I love it. I've got my Hydra from Phoenix EOD, the rinseless wash in there. Um, when I when, when I came back, uh, like I was saying, the second night to finish the back half of the car, the whole car was dusty, and I had to basically rinse this wash it on top of some dusting that I got from my the polishes, and we'll talk about that here for in, in just a second. Uh, but um, having a rinseless wash on hand really uh, before you polish on the panel it, it's like insurance it makes me feel better knowing that I just wiped the panel down before I put my polisher on it because you don't know what kind of dust can fall on it and my garage I mean it gets dusty in here it really does so that was key for me um, so let's talk about the process uh, in transforming this BMW I started out with my yellow Rupes pad six inch uh, now I don't normally use my six inch pads uh, but I figured this big car, pretty flat panels. It really wasn't intricate areas uh, like on some cars um, that I work on. So I figured I'd, I'd save some time, cover more area uh, with my yellow Rupes pad. Um, I started out with the Koshkemi Koshemi M302 Micro Cut. Uh, and it's my first time really playing around with these polishes. I've used 
the all-in-one, the P6L1, I believe, uh, but I have not used the micro cut or the fine cut yet, really. Uh, so I teamed that up with this combination here, and it worked okay, but it just, I needed a little bit more cut, so I jumped up to the fine cut, which is the F601. So the P601 is what I've used, and that's basically this with protection in it. So, um, so I used uh, I used that, and it actually worked very well. Um, I was happy, but I wanted I wanted to switch it up and try my Lake Country Orange Medium Cut Pad. And to me, honestly, the density feels almost about the same. Uh, but for some reason, when I switched over to my five-inch back plate with my Lake Country Orange Medium Cut Pad, it just felt so much smoother um, you know the bigger pad you know it's not as smooth so the smaller pad really isolated and really got great results for me and it just glided so much smoother um, I was using my m21 pro from from max shine um, I love it I just don't like the fact that it vents right into your hand so when you're working it um, the air the hot air is just coming out into your hand um, that's the only downside I have about that polisher but it works great it did it did phenomenal for me um, now what I <laughs> I experimented. Shout out to Tim with Shine Your Light Detailing if you watched to the end of this video. Um, what I did was I put both of these on the same pad and it worked fantastic. I do three drops of my F601 and two drops of my M302 micro cut and it worked phenomenal. Uh, what I noticed the difference between using the just the fine cut was it extended the cycle time tremendously um, and the wipe off was actually much better however i did still get some dusting uh, when i was done with the car there was dust like in cracks and crevices of the car i had to pop the hood pop the door jams and wipe all this dust down and uh, i know there's a lot of variables that play into it but i even used my rinseless wash dampened the pad a little bit and uh, still was still was getting some some issues and it could have been just me working the product too long because I'm so used to my uh, my uh, fab polish and my uh, Papa cut. You know, I've been using those on the on the past few jobs that I've done, and the cycle time. I mean, I just get not even one speck of dust, and uh, the cycle time is crazy with the fab polish. So um, once I learned not to work it as long, it wasn't as bad, but I still got a little bit of dusting. Not the end of the world, but. Um, I didn't want to have to rinse this wash the whole car after and kind of go through and wipe down and blow out all these little specks and, and, and whatnot dust. So only complaint I had, but they worked great. They gave me great um, defect removal, great finish, great clarity, great gloss. Uh, so I'm not very, I'm not, I'm not mad at all about it. Um, yeah, so I used basically <laughs> two pads. I use two pads when I do corrections. How many pads do I need to use? Um, so uh, how I do it is, I'm going to try not to make this, this outro too long. I have two pads, and, and I blow them out in between passes, and after a couple passes, I pull it off, and I clean the pad, and I spin it out on my polisher, and then I Velcro it right here to my cart. Oh. All right, well, and then I Velcro it to my polisher, and I slap a new pad on my polisher, and by the time I'm ready to clean that pad, I, my other pad's ready to go, and I just continue that process. I'm not, in, I'm not in a time crunch. If I was in a time crunch, I'd go through multiple pads so I can see why people go through multiple pads, but I don't. Um, I just take my time and, and get it done. Even though I was on a little bit of a time crunch, I was doing a one-step, so I didn't want to have to do a two-step. So my, my winning combo was the Lake Country Medium Cut Orange Pad with both Micro Cut and Fine Cut from Coach Kimmy. Worked fantastic, as you guys can see, it looks beautiful. Now, as far as the protection goes, I went ahead and slapped on the new Vonix Synergy coating, spray coating um, with carbosiloxy. Won't talk too much about it. I did. I shot a review on this, um, so that'll be out on the channel as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you don't. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And click the notification bell. That way you don't miss that. That. Um, but it, it was. It was okay. Um, you know, it, it provided tons of gloss. And uh, well, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I want you guys to watch the review on it. But uh, and then after that, I topped it with the Vonix SiO2 Pro. Absolutely love this stuff. 
and it turned out phenomenal, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> he was blown away. He was ecstatic, and I just, I love transforming cars like this. I mean, this car is beautiful, and it deserves to look beautiful like that. So, uh, and, and it is fun to drive. I'll tell you what, it is fun to drive. I was going to try to get a video of it, but just on a time crunch, and um, yeah, that, I mean, it turned out great. Now, as far as the wash process went, we didn't really talk about that because he washed it, it keeps it clean. It was just dusty. Just uh, there was nothing extravagant about the wash process. Had my wash bucket, deconned it, ran my iron remover on it. Nothing even came out iron. It wasn't even turning colors at all. Um, he had this thing shipped in, so and it was somewhat taken care of so yeah just got it cleaned up washed there was no protection on it at all it was flat as can be so i knew instantly all right cool um we're gonna have some work ahead of us and uh, we transformed it it looks fantastic he's blown away i'm blown away i'm happy hopefully you guys are happy and that's pretty much it on the process don't don't forget i will link everything i used down in the description for you guys to check it out if you are interested and uh yeah that's pretty much it the bmw m5 looks good looking great ready for a car show um i appreciate all you guys if you guys like this video and you found it helpful at all please consider subscribing to the channel smash that thumbs up while you're down there click that little notification bell that way when i upload more videos especially update videos on this synergy paint that i put on there um you, you won't miss it so i appreciate it and, and 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 share the videos if you can i don't ever i ever talk about that because i don't want to have to put pressure and, and be like oh share this share that if you want to share it get it out there i'm really trying to grow the channel um that way i can help as many people as i can um with knowledge and just sharing my experience so i appreciate all you guys i want to take the time and thank you again for taking the time to watch and support my channel it means the world to me all you guys i hope you have a fantastic day night evening whatever it is where you're at right now watching i'm gonna catch you guys all on the next video